Okay guys, if you are in year 10, here are a few little tips for you. So I hope you've enjoyed year 10 so far. I imagine you're starting to realise that your teachers in year 11 are getting a little bit stressed because it's the lead up to their exams and you are going to be like that in a year's time. What I want to talk to you today is how to, to make the next year a bit easier and to get yourself into a better position for this time next year. Because if you can do that, you are going to be... You, this time next year you're going to be really relaxed which is going to be great. Use year 10 to get into really really good habits. So I'm talking about good study habits, good revision and homework habits. So don't don't leave things to the last minute, get them done now. Don't forget things, don't skip over things. The more work you put in now, the less work you have to put in later, the less stressful your year 11 will be, which will be great because you will end up really stressful year. Make sure you know everything really, really well because chances are the stuff that you learnt at the beginning of year 10, your teacher won't cover again until after Easter and year 11 when you start revising. That's a long time to forget stuff. So make sure you know it really, really well. Make sure you go back to it periodically and revise it. It is really important that everything you've learnt in year 10 is solid in your head, it's a really, really good foundation for when we go into year 11. Like I just said, the more work you put in now, the easier year 11 will be, and the easier it is, the less stressed you'll be, and hopefully, the better your GCSE grades will be. Start thinking about A-level choices. Now I know, again, this is quite a long way off, but this will help you sort out your high priority and your low priority subjects. So at the end of year 10, so you're gonna have the end of your exams, potentially like mocks again. And th this is gonna maybe inform which set you go into. So make sure that, you know, for the subjects you want to do at A level, that you are in the best set possible. And finally, look after yourself. If you get into good habits now, the new relief will be much easier. And as well as study habits, I'm talking about eating, sleeping, and looking after your mental health. Okay? Um, right, good luck, guys. Enjoy your 10. You're a bruiser, but we will get there. We will get through it. <laughs>